What's happening guys? It's Misty Lovely. Um, I know I just uploaded a video, it should be processing and posting here soon. But I wanted to come on because I want to do a response to a video that really, really touched me. Um, and it was by Wendy. She just uploaded it on, on yesterday. Um, and I'm just now being able to see it. But anyhow, um, it's, uh, forgive me if I get it wrong, but basically she's talking about transforming your life. You know, especially what I'm going through right now, or what I went through rather the last week. I'm speaking past tenses. I don't want to claim it for today. Um, she was spot on in stating to transform our lives. Not just focus on a number or a BMI or um, where we're going. And you know, that's, that's actually been my combatant. That's been my weapon. I never focused on a number. And you know, I have to be honest, um, I think now that I'm getting closer to my 100 pounds, I have, be I have begun to focus on that number. I, I wanted that 100 pound loss. I want it and I shall get it. But if this, as I've said so many times before, and it's funny how our words will come back to us to encourage us or bite us in the butt. And for me, it's encouraging me because this is for the rest of my life. Even when I get to go, I'm there. So I will, until the day I close my eyes and never open them again, will have to make the right choices. So basically, like Wendy was saying, just we need to just change our lives. That's what I got from it. Just change your life. Don't just focus on the food that's going in your mouth. Don't just focus on... Um, well, I got to do this many exercises to, to yield this loss this week, or um, uh, I got to do the deficit. I got to do the. Uh, not to say that I've done that, but some of us do that, and some of us are really focused on BMI. And I even noticed too, and I'm gonna say a lot in this video, so you know, I hope I don't ruffle any feathers. But I'm being honest. Even like when we make mistakes with our eating. Um, or we feel it is a mistake. You know, a lot of us feel like we have to do something so extreme to 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 make up for that, or or or, or undo what's been done. Why? Why? When your journey continues, if it's truly a lifestyle, and the definition of lifestyle is what you, in my own definition, without looking in the dictionary, what is done daily, in pursuant of whatever your goal is and consistently keeping that. It's a part of you. It's a part of you. It's not something you do temporarily. So it just really, it, it, it's like, so you can hear somebody say the same thing. You can even hear yourself say something, but it's not until you hear it in a different way, said in a different way that it clicks. Lifestyle just change your life not just change temporarily a particular thing in time to to get a particular result just change your life you know so thank you Wendy for that thank you you know and, and I got to see you in a, a different type of uh, forum I know that you have and I coincidentally ran across um, you know the emotion the rawness you know, um, and I've always, this is how I've always been in my videos. You know, I give you guys everything and I don't, I don't regret a thing. And you know, to be honest with you guys, me doing that update was a hard thing for me. Because I had so many things in my head, but I know I needed to get it out. I, I didn't want it to be um, interpreted wrong or misunderstood. And, you know, I can't even worry about that. This is my journey. And I'm the one that has to go back and look at my videos and click and say, you know what, oh my gosh. Oh, this is something I got past, and this is something that you know I accomplished, or you know this has motivated me today. Sometimes I look at my workout videos, and they kick my butt. I ain't even lying to y'all. You know they kick my butt in the sense to say, okay, look, let's get up, let's go. You know, and um, I don't know if I shared this with you guys, but I'll share it real quick, and I'm gonna get off this thing because I already had a video that's nine minutes. But um, my Tybo video, um, I haven't did that. Again, since then, I'm gonna do it. I'm actually gonna be doing that sometime this week because it's been on my mind to do Tybo. Um, that got over 
1,700 views or something like that. And I was wondering why I was getting so many views. I guess it's because tied to Tybo. But anyway, I said that to say, somebody left a comment on my video just stating that they were 40 years old and that they were a mother of seven and that they were losing motivation. They were losing the strength and endurance to go on. They were getting a little lazy. And they just said, you know what? Seeing you do this, I thank you. And that was when I was like, say, 30 plus pounds heavier than what I am now doing that. So it's like we, we get a little, and you know, they just thank me for re -amping them up. You know, I said that to say, we get a little, we get a little sluggish, we get a little tired, you know, especially when your journey is a long road, but you gotta, you gotta enjoy the journey. You gotta enjoy the journey because it doesn't end. It does not end. It doesn't end a double LS. It doesn't end. It doesn't end with whatever program you're doing. It doesn't end with Weight Watchers. It doesn't end. It doesn't. And um, I mean to see this all the way through. I'm going to see it all the way through. I'm going to be fully to my other side. You know, I am, I don't even know how much of a weight I'm in. I'm about 80 plus pounds in of loss. And I don't plan on stopping. And I don't like feeling like I'm losing smoke. So basically all I'm saying is, it's just what Wendy said, just agreeing with it. Just change our lives. Not a temporary fix, but a permanent solution. Just change your life. So I love you guys and uh, thank you for watching. I will talk to you all later. I'm hitting the gym right now. <laughs> Bye.